Hi, it's James Beardwell, the Whitton Town supporter here, and welcome back to another Whitton Town FC match day vlog. Whitton Town are away to Grays Athletic in the Ismin League North Division. I am buzzing for the big game away at Grays Athletic, which Grays Athletic are currently now playing at Tilbury's ground, which is their home matches now, and the last time we played Grays Athletic was last season on Boxing Day down at Avely's ground and in that 7-1 defeat and that was a really bad day that day on Boxing Day last season. But they've now moved to Tilbury's ground, which they're currently ground share with Tilbury now, which they're playing their home matches. But we're going to focus on tonight for our team, Whitton Town. We're going to focus more on Whitton Town away to Grays Athletic and Grays are currently 18th in the league and we're currently 12th in the league after that fantastic 3-0 win against our local neighbours Haber Swifts last Saturday but it's going to be different cat and fish because what I mean is it's going to be a different test for Whitton Town away at Grays Athletic because Grays Athletic are going to be really up for this I reckon because we've got to be up at it away at Grays Athletic. We, we've got to be at it away at Grays Athletic tonight because it won't be easy because they're fighting for their lives in the Isthmian League North Division which they're currently 18th in the league. But I know Stone Market Town were rock bottom in the league in 19th with so many points behind but... When Grays Athletic 18th in the league, they're fighting for their lives as well in the Isthmian League North Division. So we must be up for it tonight away at Grays Athletic. And we, if we keep to that fantastic perform, performance in that 3-0 win, and if we keep to the same performance like we did that 3-0 win against our local neighbours, Haber Swifts, we can beat anyone in the league. We can, we can beat anybody in the league. As long as we turn up, and if we do the same that like we did against Haber Swifts, we can beat anyone in the league. Bring anyone on. I'm really excited for tonight. I'm feeling the buzz. It's going to be huge for Whitton Town, and it's going to be huge for both teams as well. But I believe Whitton Town can beat Grays Athletic tonight, as long as we turn up like we did against Haber Swifts, and... The support was absolutely unbelievable from our Whitton Town supporters. And we need many Whitton Town away support tonight because they always appreciate the support. And like Gary Kimball said, I wish the fellow Whitton Town fans come every single week. And for those fans with a drum that wish they'd come every week, as like Gary Kimball said. And because it always appreciates the fantastic Whitton Town support and we've got to keep up the fantastic Whitton Town support home and away this season to get over the line because our main objective for Whitton Town is to finish mid-table this season but like I said if we keep to the same performance like we did against Haybridge Swifts in our 3-0 win we could potentially climb up a little higher up in the league this season. But it depends how well we're going to play. But I think we're going to do well in the second half of the season. But the first half of the season is a bit of an up and down season. The first half of the season. But the second half of the season, I reckon it will be a good one for Whitton Town. I'm feeling confident we're going to do it this season. But I'm excited for tonight. And now... I'm about to my way to the Whitton Town away match on the train via Stratford and then on the Jubilee line up to West Ham and then on the C2C train from West Ham to Tilbury Town Station for the Whitton Town away match to Grays Athletic very shortly. I'm currently now arrived at the station waiting to board the train to go on my way via Stratford and then get on the Jubilee line to West Ham and then on the C2C train from West Ham to Tilbury Town for the Whitton Town away match 
to Gray's Athletic. I'm now I'm about to get ready to board the train to be on my way very shortly. We'll go this right is the here. I'm currently now on the train on the way to Stratford now and then later on get the Jubilee Line train from Stratford to West Ham and then on to the C2C train from West Ham to Tilbury Town and I'm buzzing for tonight, I'm really excited for the big game away to Gray's Athletic and it's going to be huge for both teams, especially for my team, Whitton Town, away to Gray's Athletic, but I am confident we're going to do it and we as Whitton Town supporters, we're feeling the buzz for tonight and especially for those who are coming to the Whitton Town away match to Gray's Athletic in Tilbury and we're excited for tonight and we've got our singing voices all ready to get behind the Whitton Town players and the staff and the Whitton Town manager Gary Kimball as always and, and let's hope it'll be a fantastic evening. I'm currently now just left Stratford on the Jubilee Line train on my way to West Ham now. And the first part of the journey went really well and, and I'm enjoying the journey. I'm currently now arrived in Tilbury before the Whitton Town away match to Grays Athletic in the Isthmian League North Division. And the train journey earlier from West Ham to Tilbury Town was absolutely packed while I was on the train from West Ham to Tilbury Town. But I enjoyed the journey, went really well, and but it was really packed on the train. But I really enjoyed the journey. It was really quick as well. And it was only about half an hour from West Ham to Tilbury Town. And, and now I'm just on my way for a quick bite to eat before I head to Tilbury's ground, which Grays Athletic currently ground share with them for their home games. And now I'm gonna enjoy the pre-match meal. I'm currently now arrived in McDonald's for a quick bite to eat for my pre-match meal. And I've got the usual nugget meal. And, and now I'm gonna enjoy my meal before I make my way for the Whitton Town away and match the Grace Athletic in Tilbury. I'm now gonna enjoy my meal. I'm currently now just finished my pre-match meal in McDonald's and now I'm just on my way to Tilbury FC for the Whitton Town away match the Grace Athletic. And I enjoyed the meal, it was absolutely amazing. And I'm buzzing for tonight. Fill me boots, me singing voice to get ready to get behind the Whitton Town players and the staff and the Whitton Town manager, Gary Kimball. And let's hope it'll be a fantastic evening. <coughs> I'm now arrived at Tilbury FC to get ready for the Whitton Town away match to Grays Athletic. I'm buzzing tonight and got my singing voice already and fill me boots already for the Whitton Town away support throughout the whole 90 minutes and I'm waiting for my mates and fellow Whitton Town supporters to arrive to do a quick interview before the match, half-time thoughts and full-time thoughts as always and let's hope you have a fantastic evening. I'm now with the fellow Whitton Town supporter, Laura. Right, James. Good, thank you. This is a big game away at Grays Athletic. I know we had a fantastic win at home against Tabor Swift, so it was a fantastic victory. And it'll be different cat and fish away at Grays Athletic because I know they're second and bottom in the league and it's going to be like really tough. But if we keep to the same performance like we did at home against Haber Swift, so I believe we, we can get another win tonight. Yeah, we had a brilliant, didn't we? Brilliant game Friday. Um, ex again, yeah, you know, if we can play as well as we did, we'd get a victory here, can't we? I can't see us not getting a victory here today, to be honest. But who knows? Hey, who knows? I don't, obviously don't know what the team is yet, but I thought we played really, really well on Friday. So, you know, it was a great night, wasn't it? 
Yeah, it was a great night, and I remembered last Tuesday he was really gutted he couldn't yes. make it to Lower yep. Town. Yep. And I've got something to give to you. That's your program oh, for bless the Lower Town away. Oh, thank you, James. Oh, Rick will absolutely love that. He couldn't be here tonight, but he will absolutely love that. Yeah, because yeah, I remember like. Um, as, or when we was on the coach on the way yeah. down to Lower Stoff Town, and, uh, and I remember you said you was really gutted yeah, you couldn't was, make yeah. it. He wants to come, yeah. and yeah. that's why I thought about it. Like I thought about it. Like when I got to Lower Stoff Town, and I thought I'd give you a, a, a program. Wow, that's lovely, James. That, that means a lot. That does. Thank you very much. That's all right. No that's worries, right. because that's what real fans of Wigan Town do. do. Like go to the games. Wigan absolutely love that. He'll sit there and read that inside and out. So he'll love that. Thank you very much, James. Definitely, yeah. Because I remember you said, Rick. Loves to do a bit of reading as well. He and does love like, reading all about the football. So. Yeah, I hope you like the program, the one away at Lower Stock Town. He reads them all, so he will love that. He will absolutely love that. So it's a really nice present. Thank you, James. That's all right. No worries. Any time. And that's what real Whitton Town supporters are all well, about. Certainly like, is. Certainly is. like supporting the team for the good times and bad. That's, that's what it's all about, you isn't know what it? I mean, if we win, you know, no matter what, we, we have our highs. We have been on a high lately, haven't we? We've been mm. really well lately, but we do have our lows. And that is what football is about, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. We had it's to a go. roller coaster, isn't it? So yeah, like the first half of the season, it was a bit of a little bit of a blip and a few bumps on the road, yeah. like you know, especially November. And but then the second half of the season, we got a little bit better at the yeah, moment. We're, we're, we're riding high at the moment, aren't we? We've got some good games coming up. And do you know what I mean? Looking at the fixtures, I can't see us losing. That's worse any of the probably the next six coming up i think we've got a chance of getting up that table i really do think we do but you know it's football again isn't it anything can happen so we'll see what happens Exactly, yeah, because like, because I remember Gary Kimball said the other day, like, if we keep the same performance that like we did against Haybridge, we can we can beat anyone in the league. Yeah, we can. I'm hundred percent. We can beat anyone, and I think that Friday night proved how well what Haybridge, how what Haybridge fifth, sixth in the league. Fifth in the league. And we beat them. Oh, okay, I don't think they had the and best did, team did, out. Did and did the double, double over Haybridge. And both performances were really, really good, weren't they? Yeah. So, but tonight will be, as you said, it's going to be a different match tonight. Because they're obviously fighting. Mm. You know, and I'm obviously it looks like probably Stone Market are down. But mm. they're still fighting. They don't want to be in the bottom, do they? So it is going to be a tough match. But, you know, we're with the 12th man, won't we? 100% always because we always keep supporting the team like home and away and because the players and the management staff always appreciate yeah. the support like we said for the good times and bad and and they absolutely loved it as always yeah. haven't they? 100% James, 100% so it's all good. And now we're coming to the score predictions, what's your score predictions? So Laura? I've got Rick's prediction. It is 3-0 to Whitton. Wow. And I have actually gone for the same as well, so I've gone for 3-0 as well. So, <laughs> Brilliant. I have got the prediction right for probably the last three games. I have got us with our, with our score right anyway. Not obviously the... I did 3-1 for Haybridge, didn't I? So, and we obviously won 3-0. So. Yeah. So, but what's your prediction, James? I'm going to be really positive after that fantastic victory against... Haver Swifts and we did the double over Haver Swifts and I'm feeling really positive for tonight. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go in for three near Whitton Town. Yes, James. Yes. Yeah, I do think we can get this tonight. I really do. Definitely, so, yeah, because yeah. we are getting a bit better in the second half of the season yeah. than the first half of the yeah. season. Like we had a few bumps and blips on the road, but things are getting better at the moment. Hundred percent. They've turned it around. Gary's turned it around. Do you know what I mean? He's it ha he's had to take time, mm. and you have to give a manager time, mm. and it has taken him time. Hold hands up. He's turned it around, mm. and you can't fault him. You can't fault him and the management team, and the players. Them players love playing for Whitton Town. Mm. And they will give it their all. As long as we're winning and they're part of the team, they're happy, aren't they? What more can you ask for? Thank you so much for your time, Laura, oh, and no up the town. Up the town! Up the town! I'm now with the fellow Whitton Town fan, Alfie. Good, James. Good fan, keeps a big game away at Grey's Athletic. And, yeah. I've, and I remember your dad said in the previous interview, I think it was a Stone Market Town at home that we're not going to get carried away because we've got a long way to go yeah. and which is he's 100 percent right and and it's gonna be a different cat and fish of course. away at gray's athletic it's gonna be a big 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 test yeah. away at gray's athletic because they're currently about 18th in the league and they're and they're fighting to stay in the league yeah, they are. 
I know we're currently 12th in the league, but if we keep to the same performance like we did against Haybridge, yeah. I believe we can beat anyone. Yeah, like as the game went by as Haybridge on Friday, if we can beat Haybridge and play like we did then, we could be or be a threat to anyone else. Mm -hmm. We struggle against the sides that are below us or around us, which we do, but with the top teams, we always match them. Right. Today is a massive, massive game. Mm. I liked our new signing of Desi. He was with Whitton last year. I thought he would have created a massive impact. Desa, yeah. Desa, yeah. I thought it was absolutely superb. And I think if we put the same forms in we, we do tonight, we did Friday, I think it's going to be a good score tonight. I think it could be a really high scoring game if, if we take what we did from Friday into today's game. Yeah, like if we keep the same formation like we did on uh, Saturday against Haybridge, but it'll be like. Like we said, it's going to be a different cat and fish because yeah. Grays Athletic will be a tough side. Yeah, because like the league is a little bit tougher than last season, yeah. but but like we say, we can bring anybody in the league. Yeah, we can. They're going to be fighting for relegation, so they're they're fighting to stay up. This is a hard place to come to. It's a mm. cold cold night on a Tuesday, so the boys give what they did like they did on Friday. There should be no problems tonight, and I should definitely come away with three points. If we do come away with three points, we're in massive confidence boost going into uh, Saturday's game because Basil have just appointed Whitton Town's ex manager Chris Taylor. I've heard it, I've so it's, going to be, it's going to be a rivalry for Saturday, I believe. Definitely, yeah, and we'll hopefully get one over. Basel United 100%. against our former manager, and it's like yep. we're giving the respect, yep. but, but we're going to beat Basel United. We're going to beat Basel, yeah. If we beat Avery, we can beat anyone in the league. Definitely, yeah, and um, but I'm confident for tonight, and yep. like, um, but I believe we can do it, and as long as we keep to the same like we did on, on Saturday. Yep, keep it, keep the same as we did on Friday against Haybridge. We can do that again Friday, tonight. sorry, yeah, I've got that's this fine. That's fine. It's get... confusing. <laughs> but Friday, the support, I must say one thing, the support on Friday was absolutely tremendous. There were so many people, since you've started from the start of the league, compared to now, how many more people are now joining you behind the goal? All down that to you, amazing. mate. All down to you, mate. You've carried with them on your back and look at the support that you've got in. So keep it up, mate. Keep up the good work and ignore the haters. I agree, yeah, because we had a, a big fortress to home support and yeah. like, and I remember the, your dad said previously that we wish we have more supporters every single game yeah. and like, um, it'll be it'll be superb for the club yeah. as well to bring lots of many Whitton Town yeah. supporters like yeah. with myself as well yeah. and, so, and the guy with the drum was absolutely yeah, brilliant. Yeah, it's unreal, mate. It Especially is unreal. at the end as well when he's doing the claps and the slow claps and it's getting quick and all the players came in. <laughs> just shows your togetherness and it shows that interaction between the players and the fans as well, which is great. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction now? I'm going to go for 3-0 Whitton Town today. Wow, brilliant optimism. Yeah. I'm going to be really optimistic and positive as well. And like, just like I said time and time again, we keep, if we keep to the same like we did against Haber Swifts, yeah. and if we turn up tonight, I believe we can do it, and I'm going 3 0 Whitton Town. Same as me, then, yeah. I think the first goal was massively important. If we get a nice, fast, fast early first goal, mm. I think then it will be set up for us, and I think we'll go on to win the game. Thank you so much for your time, Alfie, and up the town. Yeah. Up the town. Up the town. I'm now with the another fellow Whitton Town supporter, Jim. Hi, right, James, how you doing? Good, thank you. It's going to be a tough game away at Grays Athletic, but if we keep to the same performance like we did against Haber Swifts, our local neighbours, and I believe we can we can beat anyone. Um, yeah, they've done all right. Good, clean start. Uh, sorry, quick start on the Friday night, wasn't it? And followed by uh, another quick goal in the second half. Um, early goal, and then uh, didn't really look in a lot of trouble, did we on mm. Friday? So uh, I thought we done done all right. Just done enough, didn't we? Yeah, we did enough on last Friday against Haber Swifts, our local neighbours, and it was a great turnout at the ground. Oh, and, yeah. yeah, there was a few, weren't there? And then the home support was an absolute fortress, <laughs> and, and the guy with the drum was absolutely superb throughout the whole 90 minutes. And I think it was about 300 of attendance about in that game. About 350, I think it was, just short 350, I think. Yeah, I think it was about 350 attendance at the home match against Haber Swifts, yeah. but he's a Great atmosphere, especially for our home support. And yeah, we do like a Friday evening game, don't we, mate? That's really good, and, and it wasn't much noise from the Haybridge fans. No, they <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's been an amazing support from our home support, and kept it going, get behind the players. That's it, mate. And like, and like Gabby said in his previous interview, that 
wish we had more people at every single game. Yeah, it would, but I mean, not everyone can get there, can they? Um, Saturdays and all that doing stuff, but I think Friday, well, I think that's super. So we uh, have to try and get a few more on Friday, mate. One hundred percent. It would be nice to have a Friday night match because, like, to have a Friday night game just to bring more people into the ground to support the team, and it's like, it's absolutely amazing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction, Jim? I'm going to go for a two-one win away win. I'm going to be really positive after last Friday's match against Haybridge. If we keep to the same formation and the same performance that we did against Haybridge, I believe we can do it. I'm going for 3 0 Whitton Town. Well, let's hope so, mate. That'd be a good away day, wouldn't it? Thank you so much for your time, Jim, and up the, right. town. Cheers, up the town. Up the town. Hello, Jay. Thank you. Come on, Whitton. Come on, Whitton. Come on, Whitton. Whitton are massive. And Whitton Town. Come on, Whitton. 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 We're a massive everywhere we go. Come on, we're Come on, we're Come on, we're We're a massive everywhere we go. We're a massive everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. Come on, town! Go on! Oh, lucky. Go on! Go on, take him on! Down the right, down. good ball! Go on, Josh, take him on, Josh! Go on! Oh, lucky! Go on! Go on! Oh, lucky! I like it. Go on. Take him on. Great run, Josh. Go on, Josh. Take him on. Great stuff. Oh! Great run, Josh. Great run. Take it, boys. Oh! Great ball, Archie. Great, Great ball, ball, Archie. Oh. Never touch. I was given a penalty. Is that penalty or free kick? Penalty kick to Gray's Athletic. <sighs> penalty kick to Gray's Athletic. Save it, Harry! Save it, Harry! <laughs> One nil to Gray's Athletic. One nil to Gray's Athletic. Come on, yellows, let's go again. Heads up. Stand up. 
Corner to Gray's Athletic. I don't know what happened there. What actually happened? I don't know actually what happened there. Walk away! 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 Praise what? Read it what? I think the ref's having a word with Archie, is it? The ref's had a word with our player, Archie, I think. Hey, ref, is there, nine? It's going into the referee's book at the moment. Yellow card to us. It's Archie and it will Kingy. Yellow card for Archie. Is there in a world with a Grey's Athletic player? Yellow card to them as well. Well covered. Um, go on, you in. Yes! 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 Come on! Yes! Come on! Yes! One! 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 Get in there! Yes, Laura! Yes! Come on! And it's all gone quiet over there! And it's all gone quiet over there! And it's all gone quiet! All gone quiet! All gone quiet over there! <laughs> Kibble, one Gary Kibble. There's only one Gary Kibble. What a ball! You got it, son. You got it, son. Oh.
Well up, son. Well defended. Oh, so back with him again. Well cover, clear it. Clear, clear. Good lad. Good run. Go on. Ah, oh, lucky. Get up. Great challenge! That's a great challenge! It, Come on, sound! Oh, lucky! Don't foul! Well tackled! Call to Gray's Athletic. Well defended. Well defended. Now clear. Half-time score, Grays Athletic 1, Whitton Town 1, and here we got the uh, Whitton Town supporters, Paul and Laura. Hello, James. Hi, James. Guys, it was pretty equally in the first half, and we had a really good positive start. We, uh, we were stronger in the first half until we conceded the first goal and lost our rhythm a little bit, but now since we scored the equaliser, we managed to pick up the rhythm, and it is a bit... <laughs> So I was going to say, but it's, it's pretty equally matched, isn't it? It is so far, isn't it? I, mean, I think you're right. It started quite slowly. Uh, certainly wasn't the tempo that we saw on Friday. Mm. Uh, paid the price a little bit. A, ch a challenge there and a penalty, which they obviously scored. Harry was unlucky not to get to it, went the right way. Uh, and then it was a little bit uh, lukewarm until uh, Josh did well, beat the goalkeeper, and once we got the goal, yeah, they sort of perked them up a little bit, and the tempo was better, they're moving it a bit quicker kept it on the floor a little bit more as well, sort of less uh, long balls, and they looked much brighter for it. So yeah, the second part of the first half, much more promising. Yeah, it's just like, um, it's very equally matched, but we have played a, a positive start from the kickoff, and then like, until they scored, and then like, and then we suddenly dropped the rhythm a little bit since they scored, and then since we scored the equaliser, we managed to pick up a gear, and, and we could have like got a late winner half time. Yeah, we, you know, we just need to carry on how we like ended the first half, don't mm. we? Come back out and just carry on like that. You know, penalty, can't do anything about it, can we? Mm. You know, just got to carry on playing again, haven't we? So, but we could have, you know, got an equaliser, or oh, two there, couldn't we? So, yeah, we're lucky, weren't we? Yeah, we were yeah. Were yeah. Yeah. DC at the end there. Could have easily got the goal. So, but, it was a great goal by Josh, weren't it? So, but, yeah. Yeah, it's just like, um, it's very equally, but um, but hopefully the second half will come out stronger and hopefully we we'll dominate them, hopefully. And if we keep to the same rhythm, like we had a positive start and then since we scored the equaliser and hopefully we, we step up again in the second half, hopefully. We just need to keep our heads a bit as well, don't we? Because <clears throat> obviously the crowd are a little bit, you know, obviously on Josh's back as well. But they just need to keep their heads a bit because we don't want to obviously lose a player, do we? Yeah. Oh, no, definitely so, not. So, uh, There's been a few tasty challenges yeah, already. Yeah. And so, so and obviously we've had a booking already, haven't we? So we just need to keep all the players on the field. So Yeah, it needs to sort of calm heads. And yeah. if, if we play as well as we can do, and we did on Friday, we'll be all right. We're yeah. going to win we'll the game. We'll come out in the second half. Right? Yeah. So we need to keep our heads there. We don't want to go down to sort of 10 men and then it's yeah. a real uphill struggle. Definitely not, yeah, yeah, because it's been like a pretty spicy first half, but we have managed to like play some good football. It was a really spicy first half, but then, um, but hopefully things like will get better and stronger for Whitton Town in the second half. Yeah, yeah let's have a kick on in the second half. A good first half, 
a little bit of a slow start, but they really kicked on in the, towards the end of it. If we play as well as we did on Friday and we know as well as we can, we'll be all right in the second half. Thank you guys so much for your time and keep the faith and up the town. Up the town, up the town. come on. Come on, Witcher! Come on! Is it? Ah, oh, it's the it. Offside. You in? Ah! Sit in, sit in, sit in! Unlucky, unlucky! Hey! Go on, Josh! Come on, ref! Come on, ref! Referee! That's a penalty, referee! 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 Clear! Clear! Oh my days. Oh my days. Two one to Gray's Athletic. Come on. Oh my God. Corner to Gray's Athletic. Come on, at least get a draw. Come on. Come on. Don't foul. Oh my God. Well clear, what a clearance off the line. What a clearance off the line. Well done, Harry, well held. Get up! Get up! Well done, Harry! Well play, Harry! Get 
cabeça! Come on, defend it, man. God, man. Free one to Gray's Athletic. Go on! Go on! Full time! Full time! The full-time score, Grays Athletic 3, Whittam Town 1, and here we got the fellow Whittam Town supporter, Paul. Hello, mate. Paul, after a great start in the first half, and then the second half, it was poor, to be honest, but but it wasn't as bad as the Berry Town away. Nothing but, but, was as bad as the Berry Town no, nothing, away. As, nothing as bad, no, but, but it is a poor second half, but, but it's just, like Gary said, we huffed and puffed and tried, but it's just... I mean, sort of like, we, we, it's got a thing about we go again Saturday. Yeah, it's frustrating, isn't it? It's the same problem we've had all season, this consistency. Mm. It's, yeah, that's what's killing us. We put in a really good performance against Haybridge, beating 3-0 their fifth. Then we come here against the side second bottom and put in a second half performance like that. I mean, credit to Grays. I thought they were a lot better than Haybridge were, who we beat uh, in their fifth. So, credit to Grays. I thought they were the better team. They played the better football. They deserved the win. But... Like you say, when we got in at half time and it was quite close, that was a really poor second half performance. All the good stuff we did against Haybridge, the movement, the quick passing, the movement off the ball, that was just completely missing the second half. Uh, but yeah, it's the consistency that's killing us. Yeah, it's just like it's a really disappointing second half. But like, uh, like you said, Paul, after a great work against Haybridge, winning 3 0 after a great work, and I thought we're going to take it to tonight's game, and then. I mean, things didn't work out, but but what went wrong? Yeah, it's difficult to put the finger on it, isn't it? Because we've done it so many times this season, same against Brightling C as well. Put in a really good performance, get a good win, and mm. then the next game, it's flat. I mean, that second half was really flat. There was a few individual decent performances. I don't think it was that bad, sort of individually. But the sort of team effort, the quick passing, the movement off the ball, all the stuff that was good against Tobridge, there's none of that at all in the second half. Mm. And I think we could play till midnight, we wouldn't have scored that second half. It was, the keeper didn't have anything to do, did he? It was, yeah, it was a poor second half performance, and all the more frustrating after such a good game on Friday. It is very, very frustrating after a great work against Haber Swifts, and it was, it's a, it was the best performance of the season against Haber Swifts, but then it didn't quite work out in the second half away at Grays Athletic but credit to Grays Athletic but but we're disappointed with the result but the performance was poor second half but like um but we go again Saturday yeah that's all we can do I think credit to Grays they were the better side they deserve to win that and uh, they were far better I say than the Haybridge team that we, we played on Friday and they're just like a second bottom and Haybridge are fifth so it's frustrating because I think we've proven that we're on our day we can beat anybody in the league, but we just cannot do it consistently. And there's a big difference even today between the first half performance and the second. The second half was flat, there's a few individual good runs and some decent movement and uh, dribbles individually, especially the front three, I thought. But it's, there wasn't the movement off the ball, there wasn't that sh sharp, crisp passing that we saw on Friday, and it was very flat. So, yeah, we, all we can do is pick ourselves up. We know we've got the quality there, mm. we just need to put the performance in. Yeah, we need to work better on Saturday because we've got some really tough games coming up on Saturday away to Basda United. And Chris Taylor, who is our former manager, is now manager of Basda United. And But we're really hopeful to get one over Basda United, over Chris Taylor, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, having, that makes it a bit more spicy, doesn't it? <laughs> but yeah, we've got to give Chris Taylor massive respect because he was loved by our fans last season before 
we made big changes in the summer when before Gary Kimball came in. But but I am delighted with the point with Gary Kimball back in his second full term. We move on as a club, but on t- Saturday's game away at Basden, as Chris Taylor's now Basden United manager, and we got to give him massive respect on Saturday. Yeah, he did well for us, didn't he? And he's a nice guy, and uh, he did well for the club. So we'll give him plenty of respect when mm. we see him. Uh, we'll have a handshake at the end of the game, hopefully. Uh, hopefully we'll have three points by then and we can uh, play his <laughs> leg a bit. But yeah, uh, he's a good good man and he, and, uh, he did well for us. He's a lovely man, yeah. But we'll hopefully beat Basley United on Saturday and get one over Chris... Fingers crossed. Get one over our former manager, Chris Taylor. <laughs> but yeah, we've got to wait and see, won't we? Because we've got some tough games coming up on Saturday and the remaining second half of the season. But who knows, if we bounce back to winning ways, hopefully, things will be all right. Yeah, and we can do it. On a day, we're as good as any team in the league, I think. We just can't do it consistently. And that was Mm. a perfect demonstration uh, the last couple of weeks. A really good performance Friday and three points against the side who are fifth. And then a completely flat performance today. Mm. And we ended up beaten and deservedly beaten as well. Thank you so much for your time, Paul, and keep the faith. And we go again on Saturday, and let's hope we get a win against Basley United. One over former manager Chris Taylor. <laughs> but now we've got to wait and see on Saturday. It's going to be tough, but but hopefully we'll bounce back to winning ways. Let's hope so. Keep the faith, eh? Yeah, keep the faith. Up the town. Up the town. So here you go. To be honest with you, it is a really poor second half, but um, sometimes we had to go through the bad times at the matches, but like, um, but after that great work in the first half, and we were superb in the first half, and then, and then in the second half, we dropped a little bit in the second half, and, and I like to give credit to Grays Athletic and their supporters for playing their part throughout the whole 90 minutes and and I wish them all the best for the rest of the season and but as for Whitton Town there's still a long way to go in the season and we're going to keep up the superb support we kept it going throughout the whole 90 minutes and we gave everything the support throughout the whole 90 minutes and we go again Saturday and the remaining matches in the second half of the season and we're now we've got to dust ourselves the game's done and dusted now, and we move on to the next game. Hope you all enjoy today's Whitton Town FC match day vlog. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment down below on my YouTube channel, James Beardwell. Whitton Town's next match is away to Basildon United on Saturday, the 3rd of February. Keep the faith, Whitton Town. <laughs>